Welcome to Mahoney Valley Thrives. I'm your host, Earl, Batman Stringer, and today we have owner and operator of Gallery 18, Monica Vega. How you doing, Monica? I'm great today. Thank you. I'm super excited to have you on here because you have an art gallery in the area, and I just really want to highlight that, spotlight that. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how the, uh, Gallery 18 came to be. Well, I'm 45 years old, and I'm a professional artist, and I, did, I started art in the late 90s, 1990s, and then in 2002, I was um, given the opportunity through a juried um, panel to do a professional art show um, within the Northeast Ohio area in Cleveland, Ohio. So that's a, a little bit of just of how I got started with art. And then just going down that journey, that path, living in an artist community and being able to be an apprentice to um, much more uh, mature and skilled artists. And then going to school during those, those years and just picking up um, a lot of good practices of how to operate markets and taking all the education and putting it into practice has gotten me to this place that I'm at right now. Wow. And so I see uh, your business is Gallery 18, right? Mm -hmm. um, yes. What, what is that? Where does the name come from? What does it mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I wanted like, what, what is, where did it come from? Like Gallery 18, what does that represent? Well, I was a, a, a teenage mom. I was mm -hmm. pregnant at 17. And really not making the best choices for my life. And mm -hmm. I had great grandparents on both sides. Um, my grandparents were faith filled um, and very strong um, with, you know, like family and different things. But I wasn't around them in my late teenage years and kind of lost my way. And um, I had this baby boy and he changed my life. And the fact that he kind of made me more mature and just to see life in a different light. And so years later through the art path and the art journey, I thought, why not pay homage to that and give that back and, and be real? Because when you have a business, you want to have a name that means something to you, because if it doesn't mean anything, I'm not really going to connect with my clients and the community. So I thought sitting down with a, a business counselor, um, and, and, and being real, that was 2018, sitting down with the 17, rather, 2017, when I founded that particular name, her and I were talking and she said, well, why not this name? And I thought, Gallery 18 is a great name because it just kind of reflects how, you know, how thankful I am and just a message to people that there's, you know, there's still hope at the end of the rainbow, no matter what you've been through. Right. That's super cool. I ain't gonna lie. I like the Gallery 18. <laughs> But your actual name is, is dope too, Monica Vega. Like the name is, you got the whole thing, Gallery 18, Monica Vega. That's that's what's up. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thank my husband for that last name. Yeah, he, well, give yeah. it up for your husband. That Vega, that, yeah. I love yeah, that Vega name. Queen. I'm about to oh, change my name. I'm about to be Earl Vega. Like, that's, I love I that name. I go by Monica V sometimes. Like, sometimes oh, when I say my artwork i'll be like monica v like i'm famous but i'm just that, that sounds like a hey, hey, that sounds like a, a a good stage name it does like monica vega that, that, that's what's up but anyway tell us a little bit about like your artwork you know what i mean like i know you do paintings um mm -hmm. and i know you also offer a few other services at gallery 18 can you talk yeah. about some of your artwork and I, what i'll do is I'll, I'll put some images of some of your artwork um as you're talking um yeah, just talk about your, your style, your artwork, and some of the services that you offer at Gallery 18. Okay. So Gallery 18 is my collection. I, at this time, I'm not taking any outside artists. I have in the past with different ventures I've done, but this okay. particular commercial space is all my collection. So mm -hmm. you figure I have a lot of artwork and some that I don't even really display because it's just, there's some things I need to fix on that. I take everything I've ever learned and put it into one painting. Um, I try to capture what um, I think that people would like without mm -hmm. losing who I am. Meaning like 
I'm not completely a realistic artist, but I'm not abstract. So I do figure figurative work. So everything I do is a face. Mostly I, I, I stray away from abstract. Um, Okay. Just because people tend to like more of the portraiture style and the character style. So more of those things I do. Um, I do particularly um, canvas work and wood panels, um, restorative work. Um, I have done restorative work for people who maybe have an heirloom. Someone in the family, you know, left something and there's a few dents in the canvas. I'll stitch it up and um kind of take away, take the frame out of the canvas and then restretch it, tighten it. Um, I also okay. do murals and oh. I do design work. So there's not too much I won't do. I'll be really upfront with people if I can't do it because I don't want to mislead anybody, but mainly portraiture and character, uh, character paintings. Wow. That's incredible. Um, so let me ask you not to put you on the spot, but I really, you know, respect what you do. I respect the entrepreneur, you know, uh, spirit. Um, let me just ask you, do you have any advice for like, I know it's on the spot, but I mean, this really, I think <laughs> will help people like for other artists, because I, I yeah. there's so many talented people out here, right? I know yeah. some people that can draw, that can paint and they just, oh, you, yes. I'm sure you run into them. Just people you, you look and say, damn, you got so much talent, but you, you know, they don't, they're just like, oh, okay. You know, they don't know. Yeah. So this, could you give a tip to somebody maybe watching this and just they, they're artists, like what, where, what could they do or how could they express themselves and get their, get themselves maybe getting started? Any, any tips for any artist? That's all. That just is anything. a great question. That is such a great question. I found Earl that um, actually, because I told you I started in Cleveland and I was um, actually really um, grateful for an opportunity around that time where I did a, a, some work with a, a gallery in New York. And when I went to New York for the first time, and they, I'm talking about just for the art scene, I'm not talking about for anything else. It was hundreds of galleries and it just floored me because I'm like, all these people have the same talent that all the other artists I know have. And it's just what you just said. They just kind of lost drive. They go to, a lot of artists will go to school, but they lose drive after school. So they'll go get a job maybe as an art teacher or a professor, which is great but they don't do anything else on the side. So those artists, they kind of have like an outlet. They have the knowledge and the, the opportunity for the venues, but the artists that are more self-taught, those are the artists that I really um, have more, like I'm drawn to, I'm drawn to them too, because it's like what you said, they, they have the talent, but they don't know how to apply the market side. They don't know how to apply and or they've been told this isn't going to work. But you and I both know in this day and age with the Internet and digital, Absolutely. everything, pretty much everything is selling. And now right. with like the fleas, the Youngstown flea, the, the you know, Hudson flea, Pittsburgh flea, Cleveland flea, you can get in there and pretty much be labeled as a maker, which is a good thing. And, and start to kind of, you know, build a clientele and a following. So for me, if I ran into someone like that, which I do, um, and they come into my, um, my business, I usually give them resources because at this time I'm not taking any artists, right. but I do offer a um, hundred resources if I have it. I will not be stingy with that. I always want to have an open hand and say, here, this is a gallery for you. Even if you have to travel to Cleveland, even if you have to travel to you know Pittsburgh, but it's worth it. It's worth the experience. So I would say for an artist who is maybe struggling in a confidence area, just get out there because the, the, the first time you do anything, it's going to be a little bit intimidating, but at least you can get over that part first while you're honing in your more skills. And then just keep keep going at it. Keep going at it to get better and better or whatever signature style they have because there's hundreds of different ways to do art. So I don't want to, I would never want to limit anybody. There's a girl that came in um, and she was so sweet. And I just told her I'm not take, but you know, her art would have been great for like children's illustration. But when we think of art, we oftenly don't think like that. But we, if we could just like stretch our mind a little bit to see that there's so much placement in the art industry for different genres, that I think a lot of people will be working as artists independently. But we as business owners and gallery owners and um, independent artists, we have to give with the open hand. 
So that's wow. what I do. I, I just met a guy who uh, moved back from Korea, South Korea, actually two nights ago. And he's a um, freelance illustrator. And he immediately said, now I'm going back to what I used to do because you just inspired me. Wow. So that's, that's, that's my heart. My heart is all, you know, I want to make the money. I want to get my business built up, but I always want to give with an open hand, the resources, you know, because these galleries that are in much, much bigger areas, major cities, you know, they have a strict clientele. So their clientele isn't, always going to be available to someone who lives in Northeast Ohio, who right. might just want to do one show a year. So we've got to be a little bit more giving, I think as um, artists who kind of made it over that hump so that we can help the artists um, just get to that place where they have a little bit more confidence to do what they want to do. Wow. I really appreciate that. Uh, that's really, really good advice. Uh, and I'm sure that will help a lot of people. Um, but just to uh, reiterate, you are at the Eastwood Mall, right? And now yes. you yes. are, okay, that's where people can can um, come to your business and check you oh, out. Oh, yes. How else can people connect with you, uh, whether it's social media? Like, how can people get in contact with you if they have any questions about your art or just, you know, your business? Um, my website is mygallery18.com. And on the contact page, that's the last page. If they shoot me just, hey, I want to come in Thursday at 6 p.m., I'm going to try my best to be there. I do have set hours on Friday and Saturdays. Okay. I'm there all day on Saturdays. But um, during the week, it sometimes very just um, based upon um, customer flow and things like that. They can also get a hold of me, um, DM, um, Instagram, Monica of Gallery 18, and Facebook. Everybody knows you can, you know, inbox. So. That's okay. and my and my number. Do you want me to leave that or? Uh, you know what? I'm going to put all of you can, okay. but I'm going to put all of your information, no matter where okay. somebody watching this, whether it be YouTube, okay. Facebook. I will put all of your contact information um, on okay. there as well. So people can definitely I'll, I'll make it super easy for people to okay. get on. OK. All right. So um, we're going to wrap this up. And Monica, oh, it was absolute, it was absolute pleasure. To, to uh, finally meet you and talk to you. And, and guys, no matter where you're watching this at, <laughs> if you're in the area, Ohio, Northeast Ohio, uh, Niles, Mahoney Valley, check out Gallery 18. I'm Thank stopping you. in there this weekend myself. If, if I see yeah. you in there, I'm coming in there. Um, but definitely <laughs> show some love. Much respect to you and your business. Thank you. Likewise. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we will talk soon. All right. Take care. Thank you so much, Earl.